Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you some of the basics of constructing a website. One very important part about constructing a website is creating hyperlinks within Flash. So let's look at what I have here. I have two buttons. When I click on one, it opens my browser to a specific place. My browser was open to this oh so great website on enterflash.blogspot.com. And look over here, you can donate so I can get on into flash.com instead, but that's for another time. Or I'll click on this button, the go button, and my YouTube channel will come up. Let me just subscribe to myself. Oh, well, I'll let you guys do that. But look at that. I've created two buttons and they both go to separate places. And let's create that for ourselves and we're going to be using ActionScript 3 so let's get straight to it first thing we want to do is go to file new pick ActionScript 3 and as always I always work with two layers one will be content and the other will be ActionScript 3 so top layer AS3 and I'm gonna lock that don't need to touch it anymore and the content layer Next what I have to do is create a button. Now I'm not going to create a button by going to insert new symbol and clicking the button type. I'm going to work with the movie clip. So right now let's close that. I already created my movie clip and I'm just going to drag it out to stage. The go button. I'm just going to create one. So right now the rest, I before I lock it, make sure you name your button. I'm going to name it BTN1. And now we can start to code. And I'm going to lock that bottom layer, select my AS3, and open up my actions frame and start to write the actions. So what I need to do first is we're going to create a function that's going to create the buttons. Function make BTN open parentheses and this is where we're going to pass in some values MC which is the name of the movie clip that we'll be processing and you want to put a colon MC and you want to data type it to movie clip because that's what we're giving to flash a movie clip comma and we also want to pass in a string so we'll call it a URL get it a URL and we'll data type it to string and close that put another colon and we're going to say void because we're not returning anything. Curly brace, close curly brace. Now we can start adding the code that we need to add. MC dot A U R L is assigned to A U R L. And I'll explain this really quickly. These two strings here are the same. So what happens, you pass in the string, and the string goes to here, and then it gets assigned into the MC, dot, dot a URL. So what does that mean? Whatever we put in the MC right here, goes here, and we add this new variable, a URL, and it gets added. It's That's how it works. I know it's a lot of lines here, but, you know, I kind of get carried away. The next thing we want to do is we want to make the MC on button mode because remember it's a movie clip so we have to make it on button mode. What this does is make it, I have to set it to true, this makes your button, I mean your movie clip act like a button. Now we need to add some, add an event listener to the but, the movie clip that is a button. So add event listener and the event listener we're going to add is the mouse event dot click and we're going to name that go to a URL pretty simple now we're going to make that go to a URL function so function go to a URL put E 
colon and we need to put in the the type of event it is which is a um, mouse event and we want to put a colon there and we want to void it we're not going to return anything curly brace close curly brace now we want to type e dot target dot a u r l so now I can access that a url do you remember that one yeah that magical a url but we're gonna assign that to a variable that we will create on the fly which will be we'll just I like that name a url so we use that again a url which is a string and assign it the value of the target so what is the target you ask well the target is the MC that we put into this function so it gets into this function it gets assigned to the listener the listener function says okay that's the target the MC and now a URL string within this function has the value of the URL that you're gonna place in and we'll see this all in action last but not least we want to navigate to a URL to URL and we want to put new URL requests and we can put inside the string and what string is that you guessed it a URL close that now we can create as many buttons as we want right now we only have one button on the stage so let's create that function call remember I was saying we we're gonna do that so how do we create that function call well we use the same make button to do it so let's write it make btn and the name of our, our uh, button or movie clip out there is btn1 comma because we're adding two values remember one is the movie clip and the other is a string to type a string make sure it's in between um, single or double quotes so what URL are we going to of course you know on enter flash dot blogspot dot com oops you have to make sure you put in the H T T P alright now it should be perfect all we gotta do is close the break and let's try it out. Let's see if it worked. Go into Go. I click on it. And On Enter Flash pops up. Let's close everything and see if it... Close Firefox. And let's see if it's going to open Firefox. Oh, look at this. Magic. Oh my goodness. Now you see bananas. And uh, just make sure you go to my site if you do want to get the FLA, the source file to this which is now available let's add another button so let's unlock our content hold that get our button I'm gonna hold the alt key to duplicate it with it still selected I'm gonna go to properties and make sure to rename it I'm gonna name it BTN2 lock my content go back in the actions back in the actions I'm just gonna copy this line the make BTN and under it I'm gonna paste it and the only thing I need to change is the variables inside here. So remember we named it BTN2 and we can give it an address that we want to go to. So I'm going to go to www.youtube.com slash user slash opsell. So let's see how that works. Oh look here it's my channel where you should go subscribe if you know what's good for you. Well, thanks a lot for watching on enterflash.blogspot.com. If you like my tutorials, make sure that you go to my website, on enterflash.blogspot.com. And if you like them, comment, rate, subscribe, do all that jazz. And right now, we're running a pledge. We need $142 to run on enterflash.com for 36 months. We want to try to see if we can create a brand new website, a real website. Get off Blogger. Nothing's wrong with Blogger, but, you know, come on. Where I'll be able to give 
better quality video and all that jazz. So if you have a dollar or two, pledge. Thanks for watching on Interflash. Or if you just pour, you can click on an ad. That'll help me out too. Thanks a lot.